Hey everybody, thank you for tuning back into My Angel Tarot. My name is Mimi for those who don't know. Now, I'm trying to get back into the groove of doing this every day, you know, like multiple videos a day. But y'all know, like, I'm human too, and your girl is really just trying to manifest a new beginning, and that takes a lot of energy. So, I'm sorry. But that's why I haven't been posting every day. So I did, um, well, actually, I didn't shuffle. I'm about to shuffle right here on camera. But I did already clear the energy. So we're just about to go ahead and get right into this. Oh, I'm so excited. It's been literally, what, three days, three, four days since I did a reading. Come to the edge was just flipped over the wrong way. So maybe some of y'all need to go ahead and take a risk in order to make a change, you know, come to the edge, step out of your comfort zone. I know that's definitely what I'm like in the process of doing, you know, I'm like, I'm coming to the edge because I feel like that my life is like not for me. So I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and try new things. So that may resonate with either of you. Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. Treasure Island. So Treasure Island is like telling me that you got like some luck or something on the way. You have some abundance coming. You know, sea turtles are like very fast. But turtles on land is very slow. And, you know, slow and steady wins the race. Like a sea turtle or a earth turtle, I mean, a land turtle, it still signifies slow movement for me, you know. So you may have been going real slow and steady. And I, I believe that you're coming up on what it is that you've been manifesting, which is abundance. Every single human being in this world wants some type of abundance in order to live in high vi vibrational energy. You feel me? Higher power in order to live in high vibrational energy, in order to tap into your intuition, in order to be able to connect with the higher power. Open up your mind a little bit. You feel me? Like you've been going slow and steady. You've been going on your spiritual journey. You've been learning yourself more than chasing money type shit. So since you were chasing your higher self, chasing a connection with the higher power, you don't even know that you had abundance on your back the whole time, you feel me? And you went through with the shit. So God finna go ahead and bless you with some type of abundance, I feel. We have nine and four. Thank you, holy angels, holy spirit, ancestors, Archangel Michael. Thank you so much for all of these blessings. Because every single day that we wake up is a blessing. You feel me? Like, our life may not be what it is that we want it to be right now. But when you think about it, if what it is that you wanted was easy, anybody could do it. You feel me? Like, the shit not easy. But you made for it. Serendipity. This was meant for you. You're literally made for this. Whatever it is that the higher power is blessing you with because you put spirit first over your actual physical wants, you're walking into something that you were literally made for. Every single trial and tribulation that you've been through on this spiritual journey built you up to be made for this treasure island that you, about to, that you have on your back. Because deep down, you have faith. That if you keep going the distance and search deeper within yourself and get closer to the divine, get closer to yourself, then you knew that physical abundance, material abundance comes with it. After you find yourself, that's why it's only like a handful of people in this world that's actually like rich, you know, like wealthy, because they did their soul searching. 
for the ones who didn't have to kill nobody for it type shit. You feel me? Blessed. What I say, you're blessed. And this is under Treasure Island. You are going to be blessed with wealth. You're wealthy within yourself. So God is going to bless you with material abundance. Treasure Island. You're going to have all the gold, all the diamonds, all the motherfucking coins. Because you went the distance and got closer to the higher power. You imagined this life while you didn't even see a way. You did not see a way of you coming into this abundance. You weren't even working towards the abundance. You was working towards getting closer to yourself while imagining what could possibly happen. But you went and did what God wanted you to do. You were being flexible with spirit. You put your ego to the side. You put your pride to the side. And you were being flexible with spirit. Because at the end of the day, you knew that it, you, you're not in control. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> but you took your time. You allowed divine timing to take place in this situation. So God is literally about to bless you with a whole lot of money. It's a whole lot of money and it's motherfucker. That's gonna be your favorite song. These cards been charging up for about four days, too. So we definitely got some good messages coming out. We're going to go ahead and get the tarot deck going. Look at your watch now. You're still a super hot female. You've got your billion dollar contract. And uh, 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 uh. What you waiting, what you waiting, what you waiting, what you waiting, what you waiting for? What you waiting, 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 what you waiting for? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Take a chance, you stupid hoe. <laughs> With that go to distance, with that come to the edge, the first card that didn't come out, but that was the first card, come to the edge, and then we got go to distance, and then that tick tock, but Gwen Stefani said, take a chance, you, you stupid hoe, take a chance, and get closer to the higher power, and then you're going to end up with that billion dollar contract. <laughs> Ace of Wands. And that's the truth. That's the truth. You doing your inner work was bringing you closer to the truth. Where all is love. You know the truth. You have a deeper knowing. You have a deeper knowing. You and God is like this. Higher power, blessed, imagine, serendipity. And the truth is, this shit was made for you. You was built for this shit. Whatever it is, whatever it is that you want, that you've never really worked towards, but you've always wanted it, and you always knew that back in the back of your mind, you were still going to accomplish it, even though you don't even see it being a way. Because you may not be in a position to even work on it. Six of Cups. This cup is always like you have all of these cups at the bottom. You have five cups, but they're empty. So those aren't really making you happy. And this older person, this may be spirit coming in and giving you a cup 
full of sparkly stuff, full of cotton candy, full of money, full of gold. And that's just the truth. Ooh, that motherfucker slips out like what? Knight of Swords. So your blessing, your material abundant blessing, it's gonna come in out the blue. It may come in as a text message, a fucking email. You may just wake up with a million dollars in your bank account. <laughs> Type shit. Anything is possible. If you on my channel, then you have no ceilings. You're imagining and you believe in the fucking impossible. Because I don't need that shit on my channel. I believe in anything that is thought of. If it's thought of, that shit was here before and it can happen again. Just like um, I seen something online, a Florida woman, she woke up, she had a billion dollars in her account, but she was scared. So she like went to the bank or something like she was scared, but it was an accident. Somebody accidentally transferred a billion dollars into her account. But at the end, that was your motherfucking billion dollars. She should have at least took a quarter million. You feel me? A quarter million. You found wish fulfillment within yourself. And that's the first step. You went the distance. This came on top of the go the distance card. You went the distance inside of yourself and you got close with yourself, which is how you get close to God, to the divine. You have to know yourself before you can know God. And that's on period. Motherfuckers be swearing up and down that, I mean, yeah, you can believe in God because you see what, what he doing for other people. But you can't know God if you don't know yourself. You may know of him, but you can't know him if you don't know yourself. And I stand firmly on that. Because I know God, and it took me th a lot of soul searching, a lot of years. Blessed. On top of blessed, justice came out. Your justice, you're going to be balanced. Your life is going to balance out. That's your blessing. You getting justice within your life. Is a blessing because you are wish fulfillment within yourself. And like I said with that ace of wands, that's just the truth. What's coming up on top of magic? Y'all just heard me ask that, right? I said, what's coming on what's coming on on top of motherfucking imagine? The sun. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. You've been imagining a happy, peaceful, vibrant life. That's what you've been fucking imagining. That's what you've been imagining. And that's what you're about to get. Your justice is going to be you having a happy life. Because at the end of the day, you put God first. You put finding yourself first, which is putting God first, because you can't know God if you don't find yourself. That's what the fuck you did. And he appreciates you for that. Eight of Swords. On top of being flexible. So you are being fair with the divine. You are being flexible. You let go of, of your ego. You feel me? You have all of these swords around you, which is pretty much protecting you. You are blindfolded. You were tied up. You didn't see where this could go. You didn't see any physical evidence of this is going to work for me. But you are still flexible with the uh, you are still flexible with the divine by being blindfolded and fucking tied up. 
not knowing which way to go. You just believed. On top of TikTok, Queen of Cups. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, take a chance, you stupid hoe. You took the time out to balance your emotions. You took the time out to nurture yourself. You took the time out to learn your motherfucking self. Two of cups. You gave equal give and take to spirit, and spirit is giving you equal give and take. You and spirit are co-creating together. God is literally about to give you the life that you've always wanted, but you never seen a way for it to manifest. Or you were so busy focusing on yourself, you never was able to take the time out to manifest it. Because you know what comes first. Now let's get the monology cards. Cause I pull up and I'm stunting, but I ain't a stunt man. Yes, I'm rocking Jordans, but I ain't a jump man. Bitches play the back cause they know I'm the front man. Put me on the dollar cause I'm who they trust in. Thank you, Holy Angels, Holy Spirit. A time to give rather than to take. New moon in Virgo. We got a full moon in Virgo. So I feel like that this is what you were doing. You were giving to yourself rather than just taking from God. You know, you were giving to yourself. You went in within yourself because you knew that if you did that, then God was just going to give it to you. You, you wasn't going to have to take no more. Equal give and take. Literally, equal give and take. That's the Two of Cups energy card that was just on the bottom of the tarot deck. Your hard work is paying off. What did I say? Do y'all think I be making this shit up? Your hard work is paying off. You going within yourself and finding wish fulfillment within your motherfucking self, becoming best friends with yourself. Your hard work is paying off. And that's the truth. That's the whole purpose of this reading. You about to be blessed with material abundance because you put in the work to find yourself. Your commitment is being tested. Your commitment has been being tested. That's why you're being blessed. Because no matter what it is that you wanted, you say committed to the almighty. The highest of the highest. That's who you stay committed to. And you proved that by learning yourself. Have faith in your dreams. You always have faith in your dreams. You always have faith in whatever it is that you wanted to do. But you wanted to get closer to God instead of working on your dreams. You always have faith in your dreams, but you would focus on getting closer to God. And that's the realest shit a motherfucker could ever do. A new romantic cycle begins. This may happen in motherfucking Libra season. But at the end of the day, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like my vibe. You feel me? Like, I take this shit serious. And these cards do not lie. These cards do not lie. So, I'm sure this message can resonate with almost every motherfucking body because we all go through that shit. But it's only a handful of us that find ourselves. So, there you have it. I hope y'all have a good day. I'll be back later. But I'm hungry.